What is wrong with Transformers fans? It never ceases to amaze me how fans of the franchise can be this upset because of the trailer didn't live up to their expectations. Fans are going around saying, like, why isn't this like the War for Cybertron games? This is supposed to be a continuation of the Babers? Man, Transformers should only be live action. They should have used the Transformers Prime style and animation. Even G1 fans are hating it because it's not going to be like the Transformers 1 G1 episode where Alpha Tron rebuilds Optimus and Leo 1. Y'all seriously cannot be this dense. Just because it borrows elements from previous Transformers media, that doesn't mean that it has to be connected. It's an adaptation or reimagining of an already established Transformers story. You guys are so buttered that this can't be its own thing that it's actually funny. I wonder if some of y'all actually relate to Star Wars fans. And for those who are crying saying, this is a kids movie. Well, are you retarded? Uh oh, retard alert. Retard alert class. I can mostly understand about the film being childish, but let's not forget you also watched Transformers as a kid. Are we seriously pretending that all the humor and comedy were never in Transformers at all? I mean, for God's sakes, Optimus Prime was literally playing basketball. Spike and the other Dinobots, including Hound, were playing football. Beast Wars is the pinnacle of comedy. Megatron, am I glad? Ah! Treacherous Spider. Royalty, why was I not chosen? Because, Inferno, when expecting booby traps, <laughs> duh. always send a boob in first. Great need plan! One's been eater in charge! <laughs> it up in our heads that Scourge and the other Decepticons were directing traffic in 2001 Robots in Disguise? Hello, how long have you two been dating? Because you bicker like an old married couple. What? We're not dating. Frankly, I find it repulsive. The whole idea of you fleshies interfacing. <laughs> what, we're gonna pretend that the babies didn't have cringy juvenile humor? Bumblebee, stop lubricating the man. Get that thing to stop, huh? From the bathroom stall, you took your package out. Whoa! You the package Whoa! Out, you don't we are not! Boyfriends, okay? You are so defensive. Were you masturbating? Judy. Was oh. I master? No, oh, Mom. It, but okay. It's okay. No, I don't masturbate. It's not something for you it's to bring. Alien bomb coming through. Clear the way. Clear the way. Hi, kids. Coming through, ladies. Excuse me. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, my God. How do you say get the fuck out of the way in Chinese? Green decides to warrior goddess. Who's your little Autobot? Oh, you're cute. Name's Whaley. Yeah. Say my name, say my name. Oh, well, th th that's entirely different. The humor in there was actually funny. This, however, has childish humor in it that is made for five year olds. Huh? You niggas is just retarded. Transformers are for everyone, not just G1, the Bayverse. Unicron Trilogy, Align Continuity, Nightverse, Cyberverse, etc, etc. And you know what, I can maybe give this the benefit of the doubt. Because we definitely had movies and shows that were targeted at kids, but had compelling writing, awesome characters, and intriguing world building. But nevertheless, this is a kid's property. This is a kid's brand. I can understand not liking the comedy, because I definitely dislike how the trailer portrayed it at first. But at the same time, Transformers did have comedic, comedic and humorous elements within each series. I'm just hoping that this film doesn't rely too heavily on comedy. I plan on watching this with low expectations, and I'm not going to assume everything that's going to happen within the movie. Also, let's not judge a book by its cover right away, because this could be seen as lighthearted at first, but then it becomes darker later on in the story. You guys can accept that Transformers Animated is its own thing. You guys can accept Robots in the Skies 2001. You guys can accept the Unicron Trilogy, War for Cybertron games, Transformers Prime, Cyberverse, or even Earthspark to a degree. But some of y'all can't comprehend that this is something that can be entirely different and new take of the franchise. 
This is a comment from Perspective Ends take on Transformers 1, and it pretty much sums up how I feel about this whole debauchery when it comes to the fan base. I never understood why people are so upset when the law changes in a new adaptation of the franchise, because it literally happens every single time. Each show movie and universe has its own law, and interpreting certain events and it's honestly my favorite part of the franchise. There's always something new. And I can understand just objectively not liking what the story is, because you don't like the ideas instead of disliking it because it's different. But I've seen a lot of people hating online, because it wasn't what they grew up with and that always confused me. This to me was clearly made by people passionate about the franchise, who did their research, even if not absurdly deep, they tried and that's all I really wanted, people who care to try. I cannot wait for this movie because to me it seems like an amazing time. And I really... Things change over time, it doesn't matter how much you want this version of Transformers back, they've been there and done that. Now they're trying something new, and y'all just hang on it without even watching it. Again, I understand how the trailer can be seen as childish because of its humor, and if some of y'all ain't too confident because how the trailer handled it, that's totally valid. I felt a similar way, but sometimes trailers can trick the audience. Keyword, sometimes. I still say that some of us should at least give it a chance. If it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, it's good. If it's mid, it's mid. But if you do plan on watching this, try to remember that this is not going to be like the previous incarnations of Transformers you've consumed over the years. Again, this isn't G1. This isn't Transformers Prime, The Bayverse, Unicron Trilogy, or even Animated. Try to remember that this could be a different universe with its own different take. I guarantee you any chance that this film may end up becoming good, folks will probably use that Thanos meme. Perhaps I treated you too harshly. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I just think fans are blowing this way out of proportion and they have to at least give it a chance. Who knows, it may be lighthearted at first, but then it ends up becoming darker later on in the film. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, do all that YouTuber stuff, like, comment, subscribe for more videos that interest you, and I'm gonna head up on out of here. Bye. Give the video a like, give the video a shout out, above all, give the channel a groovy subscriber.